King of his throne, I beg you. Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kick Benitez and that. I think I want out of this shit. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez. Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> ¡Eso! So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution. And the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Hey, Listen up. 
I've got a good feeling about this. I hope. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. No, no, get in the back. The guards will see you up here. Hey, I'm driving up. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Nobody was allowed to look inside. Mm. Oh, it's for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. Some huge hotel on a mountain. Looks fancy. Gran Hotel Caballero. Since 1740, that place has been a military prison. Then a hotel, then back to being a prison, then a hotel again. Looks like this place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny. I'm your eyes on this one, and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Inga, I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Hmm. <laughs> Medics on duty.
Yelena, the dentist is dead. La Morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying. <laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Higher! I want them higher! Farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word no call Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. We have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. Que vuelta. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Bingo. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass. Fucking up the convoy. 
taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo. You're ready. I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Feels good to rest a little. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! Run, run. You bumped? I'm bumped. This is going to help un montón. I heard you hit that convoy. Si. On Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Huh? Gotta take out that alarm.
Hola, my friend. Perfecto. No supplies are coming through here unless it's for us. I know the question on your mind. That was a glorious day. Hola, baby tigre. Exactly, carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. Help this and Carlito together again. Baby Tingle! Driver, see, I've got the gun. Baby Tingle, let's go! Fix up Carlito and blast open the gate! Carlito, 
almost pretty old and taking a beating. Is he even going to make it? Carlito's the one who does the killing, baby Tigre. No one can kill Carlito. Keep going. We're almost at the cave. It's going to be on the right. I think Carlito's my new favorite legend. I'll pretend you didn't say that. But I get it. Hostages. You came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. Pretty pissed off about the gold you stole. yelling at We got El Tigre on our side. What good is that old man going to be for La Morada? Over here. No surprise. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the what? place I marked on your map. You want the military after me too? Come here. My baby Tigre. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No! You are me, the Fist! Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Do they die? 
like this way is blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! Aguerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Excelente! That tank was the most powerful weapon! Now, it's time to kill these fake Yaran rats! I need cover! Get to me! Fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, el tigre. You are trapped in a 
have nowhere to go. You will Open my cell. Open my cell. You can do it in the control room. I will not survive here. Help me. Let us out. Come on. Get me the fuck out of here. You have to do something. Now, how do I open the door? Benitez went in. Go ahead! Release the fake Yaran rats! They will die! Just like you! Fuck! You think I wasn't so ready for an attack like this?
Defense are coming! Give me a sec! Clearly! Adiós, Benítez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! Por... Benítez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. Sí, mamá. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went, and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Unitas is private stash. Huh? <laughs> Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you have Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the president has a Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa? 
in the 67 revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you lose in this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! <laughs> or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. We should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine.